John Crane here, and I am working on a tile shower. Now specifically right now, I am putting in a waterproof membrane. I am using the Schluter system. Now we know these waterproof membranes leak. I'm gonna show you the steps that I took to prevent that from happening. All right, now you're saying to yourself, what do you mean these systems leak? I just put one of these in my house. Well, if you dig around and you do enough research, you will find out that it's true that these systems do leak. Now, I watch a couple YouTube channels on tile. One of them is Sal de Blasi Elite Tile. The other one is Isaac Ostrom Tile Coach. Now, these guys are a wealth of information, and if you haven't subscribed to their channels, you're gonna wanna do that. You won't be disappointed, and you will learn a lot from those guys. Now, Isaac, in particular, has done a lot of tests with these waterproofing membranes on shower pans. Now, he's taken these glass acrylic shower pans, he has lined them with this waterproof membrane just like the manufacturer suggests, right? He lets it dry, he does the water test, fills it up with water, turns out that they leak, right? So I bought into this whole Schluter system and then I'm watching his videos and I'm like, what the heck? You know, the thing leaks. So then Isaac says, well, Maybe it's good to put a coat of Ardex 8 plus 9, roll that on, it's a waterproof membrane. So what do I do? I go out and I buy the Ardex 8 plus 9, I have that shipped in, right? And then soon, Isaac does a test on the Ardex 8 plus 9, turns out that that stuff is leaking. Now thank God I haven't you know, done any work on the shower, I was delayed on this project. So I'm like, man, what the heck, I'm buying all this stuff and it turns out that all this stuff leaks. But I'm really happy that Isaac has done all this testing. So, you know, it's great that I waited to do this shower actually, because it turns out all the stuff that I bought leaks. There's also some other problems with the thin set that you use to apply this. Now, Schluter has their whole shtick about, you know, unmodified and modified and blah, blah, blah. It turns out you can use modified thin sets specifically use Multi-Max Light, Laticrete Multi-Max Light is great for putting up this waterproof membrane, adhering it to cement board and adhering it to itself. That is the way to go. Isaac has also done a lot of tests on that Multi-Max Light and that is great for this. It's real thin. So what I'm doing here is I put this all this membrane up with the Multi-Max Light and now for an additional waterproofing, I'm gonna use the Laticrete Hydroban roll-on system over the top of this whole thing. This is a steam shower. I'm gonna put this uh, coating all over the whole shower. So you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned and watch this whole process. I'm also putting the membrane on in a little different system. I'm doing a layering system rather than how it is suggested by the manufacturer. This is not warranted. I'm not doing it how they like it done, right? But I don't care. I want to do it so it doesn't leak. So stay tuned and watch the whole process here. I'm going to start, you know, we're going to rewind the video. We're going to go back and I'm going to show you, you know, putting in the shower pan, putting all this liner on. All right, let's stop talking and get busy. All right, but before we get busy, I just want to give you a heads up that this is going to be a multi-part series on doing this shower from start to finish. There is just so many things to cover. If I didn't do this in a multi-part series, this video would be like 20 hours long. So some of the things I'm gonna cover coming up in the future videos, you're gonna see the Dietra heat heated floor system in the shower floor, in the bench, in the bathroom floor. I'm also gonna show you right how to do the waterproof membrane behind all of this tile, the curdy membrane how that is combined with the Hydroban liquid membrane and how I do the overlapping system to make that shed water and get this tight as a drum. This is nice and waterproof. I'm also gonna show you how to cut and install all of this porcelain tile, the marble shelves. I'll show you how I also cut the shower bench here, the curb, the stone for the shower niche. That's pretty interesting how all of that gets cut. Right up around the perimeter here, I have LED strip lighting. This is pretty cool. This is waterproof LED strip light. I'm gonna show you how all that gets installed, how the transformer works, all the controls. 
Let me look at my list, right? Mixing thin set. I go over a few different thin sets, what kind of thin set I'm using to put all this in with. I cover a lot of the trowels that I'm using, the correct size trowel. Uh, let's see, right? The grout, I'm gonna show you how I put all that in. Uh, I'm doing the ceiling up here. That's interesting how to do this shower ceiling. I'm gonna show you how I put in all the plumbing fixtures after everything is ready to go, right? The wand, the valves, the shower heads, uh, the glass shower door right here. I'm gonna see if I can get some coverage, you know, some footage of that being cut and then I'm gonna install that. I'll give you all the details. I'm gonna show you the whole steam shower system, how that gets installed, how that pumps the steam up here into the shower, the controls, and some bonus things like the toilet, the vanity, the sink, the mirror, the heated towel bar. I tell you, Crazy Eddie has got deals on 8-track players, VCRs, handquarters, boom boxes, cassette stereo systems, and more. All right, now seriously, <laughs> right? If you're doing a shower like this, a bathroom, be sure to watch this series because I have put a lot into this. This is very interesting from start to finish. There's a lot of research, a lot of time. I spent a lot of time figuring all of these things out. So uh, check out this series. All right, let's get busy for real now. Right on. Okay, let's take a quick tour of this little bathroom. As you can see here, the entrance to the bathroom is a pocket door that will slide on this track. And to our left, we will have the toilet and the vanity. There'll be a mirror up above on this wall. Over on this wall, we'll have a heated towel bar. We got some controls here for, I'm also gonna put heated floors in. So this is gonna get the Schluter Dietra heat system throughout the floor and throughout the shower. Let's take a look at the shower. All right, it's quite a simple shower, but deluxe all at the same time. So this has a shower bench. As we look around in here, you can see that I've got the Delta valve now that controls three different things. Now that controls the shower wand for when you're sitting on the bench. And then up above, this will have the rain head shower head right here come from above. And then this right here will be a shower head but on an adjustable bar that will slide up and down on the wall. And then down below, I have a port right there. Now that goes down below and that will be a port for the steam shower. And then there, of course, is our drain. So I've chosen to use the Schluter system in the shower. Well, let me turn the All right, as you can see here, this is my Schluter shower pan. It's a pre-sloped shower pan. And this is just made out of styrofoam. And it has a fleece on here. This is the Curdy fleece waterproof membrane. You can see I also have the curb here that will go in front. So what I want to do right now is just dry fit all these pieces. So I'm going to lay this down in the shower. You can see it has a cutout for the drain right there. And so I also did purchase the Schluter drain. So that fits nicely in there. And then this curve I think I want to cut this curve down in height a little bit because this is a little bit too tall for what I like. And I also have to cut it to length. So I'm going to do that on the table saw, cut this down in height, cut it to length. And then I'm also going to cut all of the Dietra heat uncoupling membrane that's going to go on the floor, in the shower, on the bench. All these things I want to have pre-cut before I start mixing that thin set mortar. That stuff is expensive and you don't want to be cutting your curdy, you know, this stuff while your mortar is going off and setting up.
is the shower drain, and you can see it has this little cutout right here. Now they have this so you can cut it out if you're working with the Dietra heat uncoupling membrane. This membrane is going to go on top of the shower pan. So in order to get this up to the right height, our shower drain, what you got to do is you cut out this circle. So I'm going to cut this out. All right, after I, you cut this out, now I'm going to trace this onto our Schluter Dietra heat uncoupling membrane. And so what's going to happen is we're going to take a ring of this uncoupling membrane. We're going to thin set that down to our plywood floor and then we'll put this in and then this will raise our shower drain up to the right height. You'll see when I do the install on this, how that all works out. So. All right, I have all the uncoupling membrane cut and sized to fit. I got the pan in there and you can see, look right here, we got the one layer of uncoupling membrane. It's gonna go down here. This is gonna go on top. And then of course our shower drain over the top of that. I got our pieces cut for the bench. One goes on top, one is gonna go in the front. And so we can run our Dietra heat wire up the side and up to the top. That's going to be so nice to have a, a heated bench. All right, I'm going to pull everything out, mix up some thin set, and lay this right, down. The time has come. The time is now to mix up some thin set. And I am using the MyK uncoupling membrane mortar. Without this liquid, it is unmodified. With this polymer liquid, it is modified. So the mixing of this is super easy. I'm using modified because I'm going down to plywood and the backer board. It's not gonna be trapped between two impervious layers. This should dry just fine. Just pour this right into the bucket, the whole thing. And then you dump in the thin set. I don't have one of those nice vacuum deals here. All right, and the instructions on the mixing of this MyPay uncoupling membrane mortar, that's a mouth tongue twister there. This is to mix for three minutes Let's sit for five minutes, then mix for another minute, and then you're ready to roll. Okay, while we're letting our mud slack for five minutes, I got a bucket of water and I'm gonna wet all of these surfaces with a sponge. All right, I got my quarter inch by quarter inch notch trowel to put this down. I think uh, Schluter calls out, I think 11 60 fourths inch notch trowel for doing Dietra heat and the shower pan. But I'm going with a quarter inch by quarter inch. This probably isn't a great camera angle. Let me see if I can get the camera. I can get you guys over here in the corner. All right, that might be a little bit better, better of an angle. But I tell you, any of these angles for tile work, uh, right? It's the plumber's crack camera angle. All right, I'm just gonna start running this out. Laying down some mud. I just bring the bucket in here for a second. Right. Start slopping this on. This mud is nice, smooth, creamy. It's gonna go down real easy. All right, that looks like a nice spread. We can just drop this guy in. And this 
this. Come in gently. Walk around. Let's see if I can sneak you in here for this shot without the whole camera angle being at my back. So I'm putting down this spacer of uncoupling membrane that's going to raise our shower drain to the right height. Okay, now I'm coming in with a drywall knife with a little bit of thin set that I'm going to work into this uncoupling membrane. I'm just back butter in this ring. I want to get 100% coverage. Drop this in. just made a story pole and I've got that in the corner kind of hard to see blends in a little bit but I've got the laser set up and I just wanted to check to make sure that the valve is going to be in the middle of a tile our spray wand outlets going to be in the middle of a tile right here this other shower head the steam port that comes out at the bottom. Just want to ensure the tile layout is going to work out for all the details. Also, if I zoom in there, you can see the line, the grout line. So that's going to be a small tile. I also have the ceiling pitched at a slant. So when you have the steam in here, that the water will run downhill. So that will be a a tapered cut in that corner. And then when we get to this one, this will be a larger piece. And then it also works out well with the tile going around the top of the bench. You just don't want any slivers anywhere. And then down below, it turns out to be about a three quarter tile for the bottom row, which I'll put in last. All right, I'm just doing some calculations for the shower niche niche, whatever you want to call it there. So I got the laser set up and I will draw the opening here on this wall. I'll probably end up popping this back off so I can cut the hole for that. So I'm going to lay this out, bring it outside and cut that out.
want to point out what I'm doing here is cutting some tapered shims so the water will be pitched out towards the shower on this bottom section of the niche. Now I am cutting some of the Dietra heat uncoupling membrane. This will go on the floor of the shower. So I'll cut out the circle section here for the drain. And now to put this down in the shower floor, I am using the Laticrete Multi-Max Light. I will get into this later, how I like to mix this up. This was a little trial and error to get this mix just right. give you guys a bird's eye view of installing this Schluter drain. Uh, if you watch Isaac's channel, he's putting in those Flow FX drains. Those seem really nice as well. This uh, is super easy though to put in. Just gonna put some thin set down and drop this in. All right, again, I'm using the quarter inch notch trowel and I'm setting the drain right into that multi-max light thin set. And now here I'm putting on this curdy fleece membrane that they give you that's cut in a circle and this just seals the drain in place. And now I'm gonna trowel this all out with a quarter inch notch trowel and set in the Dietra heat uncoupling membrane into the shower floor. Give it a little dance here. Little marimba. All right, right on folks, that's the end of part one. Be sure to join me in part two when we do the Dietra heat. We do the heated shower floor, the heated bench, the heated bathroom floor. You're not gonna wanna miss that. So order up some popcorn, get your pizza ready, and join me on this shower build. This is totally awesome. All right, be sure to like and subscribe and all the products in this video and in this whole video series, I'm gonna have listed in the description. So go there if you wanna use these products. All right, right on folks, like, subscribe, and I'll see you all soon. All right, and don't forget to subscribe to Sal de Blasi on his tile channel and also subscribe to Isaac Ostrom, tile coach. Check out their channels, like, subscribe, the whole nine yards, right on. Thank you.